Hello everybody, this is Jürgen Stark from Music Graphics International in London. This little video was meant to show the kinds of things you can do running score in Windows 7 64-bit through DOSBox. I made reference to pop-up menus, I made reference to plugins. Let me show you the kinds of pop-up menus that, that I was referring to. I have, for instance, a, I'm just currently in the process of building some kind of a general menu. Um, I can uh, invoke it with a particular hotkey, it's uh, control F6 in this particular case. And what comes up is a, again, it's just it's under construction at the moment, it's a general menu that gives me some options. It says code 9 show complete catalog, beam.exe, dynamics assign menu, edit score processes, LJ processes, set range, and on the bottom it says cancel. If I click on cancel, the menu simply goes away and nothing happens. Um, the, the green arrows indicate to me that they are submenus. That's like in a, Windows, a traditional Windows program having three dots, dots behind a command on a menu that shows you that, there, that there's something else that, that will come up when you select that option. So, for instance, um, when I s click on Set Range, I get another menu that says Edit Range 1 Start, Edit Range 1 End, Edit Range 2 Start, Edit Range 2 End, etc. and Cancel. Um, uh, LJ processes gives me two options, which is LJ and score and LJ.exe, which is Tom Broadhead's uh, LJ utility. Um, and then the things with the blue, with blue arrows instead of the uh, green arrows are single step commands. So, for instance, the first thing in the list is code 9 show complete catalog. If I select that, I get a code 9 display, which is something you're probably fam familiar with having it on paper. But now you can just call it up and you'll see your code 9 elements uh, directly on the screen and then you can select from, from there. You know, it comes up as a PDF file. Uh, I made reference to the fact that you can now assign lyrics um, without having to type diacritical marks and you would just be able to do that from a dialog box. Let me show you how to assign lyrics. You know, the conventional way would be to, to let's say I want to assign lyrics on staff 2, I would type TC2. 0, minus 4 for parameter 4, and then 5, 0, and 6 will be the font size, and 7 will be nothing, and 8 will be nothing, and 9 will be minus 360, which I use uh, for Tom Broadhead's LJ program. And then I press enter, and then I do the, the font uh, labels, and then I type this is a test. And I press enter, and then I would type 99, for instance, and it would assign my lyrics down there. There they are. Okay, now let me show you a different way of doing this, and I'm going to use the standard hyphens now instead of the score delimiters. I should type Alt L, which is a hotkey and brings up a menu that says indicate staff onto which to enter lyrics, and this is just right, it defaults to staff one. But let's say you want to enter the lyrics of the staff two. That's all you need to do. You don't need to enter any of the other parameters because there are certain defaults that you can set that are then automatically indicated. You don't have to do anything else, but you do need to indicate what staff you want to enter it into. So I, I type staff 2, I press enter, and I get another, another dialog box. Into this text box, I now enter my lyrics. And I better use regular spaces and regular hyphens. Okay, I don't need to use the delimiters that score uh, um, forces you to use if you want to do it within score. So here's the lyrics. This space is space A space better with a hyphen. Mouse trap. I press enter and then it gives me a confirmation window. It says you entered the following lyrics. This is a better mouse trap. To confirm and proceed, press OK. That's seven syllables. Now it would say, and you can see by the way in the background, it already you know converted that to score code with all the parameters that I need. Now it says enter the complete note assignments here. And let's say I want to uh, do it uh, on to assign it to stay. Uh, notes one, two, four, five. 7, 8, and 9. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. I could press enter and it gives me another confirmation. You entered the following note assignment. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. To confirm and pr proceed, press OK. I press OK. And now I press enter and there are my lyrics on staff 2. This is a better mousetrap. One problem in DOSBox is that text runs into the edit area. That's a bit can run into the edit area. That's a bit annoying. That can happen, for instance, if you it happens during the input stage. It also can happen when you do an LJ command. Let me show you one, how how this affects the display. 
I type LJ and then 133 for all staves. I press enter and this is what happens. First of all, uh, it fills up the entire screen and then this garbage remains at the top of the screen. That's a bit annoying. It's easy, easily fixed by pressing Alt F twice and then you get rid of all that junk. It's a bit of a nuisance, not too bad. But there is a way to, uh, 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 instead of doing LJing within score this way, I now LJ in a different way. I type Control J and I get a dialog box. It says LJ and the lowest staff number and how many staves. And it defaults to 133. I just accept it as a default and press Enter. And you get the same garbage, but the cleanup is automatic. I don't have to do anything. Okay, now let me mess up this file intentionally. Like that. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to use uh, Tom Broadhead's LJ on this file, um, but without exiting the file. And there it is. It's been fixed right in front of your face. You didn't have to do anything. Here's another uh, thing. Uh, so in that, in that sense, Tom brought his utilities are now actual plugins into the SCORE program. You don't have to exit SCORE. You can do it within SCORE. Let me show you how, can, how you can invoke Beam. I want to mess up this Beam over here. Move it down on the right side like that. Instead of having to um, uh, exit this file now and go to the command uh, and, and go to the command prompt, invoke the Beam program, indicate the file name, wait for Beam to end, and then start up score again, invoke in the same file. You just keep the file open and you just invoke this menu. It says here beam.exe. This command will invoke beam.exe on the entire file. Proceed question mark and I say OK. And there it is. You can see over here the beam has now been fixed. I didn't have to exit the file, and the and it has been fixed. Um, what else do I have in here right now? Um, oh, the dynamics assign menu. Yeah, that's a nice little thing. Let's say you needed to uh, assign a dynamic to this note, and let's say it's the obscure one that you don't use very often, like um, FFF and parentheses. You just click on that. And they say Dynamics Assign Menu, and all the dynamics come up right here. And so I'm going to select FFF in parentheses, and there's FFF in parentheses that gives me, in fact, a P15 minus 1 offset. That's the default that I use, and it also defines the P4 of minus 6 as a default. Um, um, and then I can, you know, I can edit it as I see fit because it's still selected. If I want to uh, place an FF under the break, for instance, under, under the rest here, FF in parentheses, I can do the same thing. Uh, FF in parentheses comes up right there. And you can see that the P4 height is exactly the same because it's a default, and also that the uh, parameter 15, again, is uh, set to minus 1. Is there anything else I want to show right now? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually get um, the following to work. Uh, I, this may work. It may not. I'm not sure. Um, want to? Let's say you want to assign staccatos to, to all of these notes in these two measures, and in, including the downbeat. You know, the little problem you have in score with that is that you can't use a global command because it would assign a staccato to every note head rather than just to the note with the stem because you don't want it on every note head. So. Uh, in order to make this work, I would select um, the beginning of the range, and I'd say set range, edit range one start, and then I go over here, and I'd say edit range one end. Then I'd select staccato assignment. I'm sorry, I'd select staccato assignment. Dsv.xxx. Now I don't know if this is going to work or not. It has worked in some tests, but I haven't tested this in a while. And it could still be buggy. Let's see what happens. Okay. And I look up here, and wouldn't you know it? There are all the staccatos right here. And but they're only on the notes with the stems, and the the, the range indicators that I put in have been deleted because I no longer need them. So. Anyway, this was just a quick and dirty demonstration to show the kinds of things you can do running score within Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 64-bit and uh, running score through DOSBox. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, again, when the tools are ready and, and honed and fine-tuned and debugged, uh, I'll just uh, let, let give them to anybody who wants them. Thanks very much, and hope you had enjoyed the show. Bye-bye.